we're going over the third single whip that we have in the Guangpeng Yang Tai Chi Chuan form. Um, you will probably notice as you're learning the 64 movements that every time we have a wave hands like clouds, it's sandwiched between two single whips. So we start off with single whip, we go through wave hands like clouds, and we end up capping it off with another single whip. So every single whip is a little bit different because it depends on how you're getting into it from the previous movement. It's just subtly, subtly different. So let me show you the movement. Here it goes. We ended with wave hands like clouds and we are kind of in this position and we begin. All right, that's it. You've been through a lot of single whip practice. Um, and so the movements, the movement is the same, but I'm, I'm really gonna warn you about something. And that is to really look at the principles of the form because this posture will show if you are not song, not relaxed, not um, forcing this movement. And the reason it shows it is because the next movement after it requires a bit of a balance trick. And if you step out too far and you're like, mm, single whip, it's going to show up in the following movement. So just a little tidbit for you for the next video that I do. So let's go over the footwork. When we ended um, with cloud hands, the feet were a little uh, closer together than normal. What we talk about is um, just, usually I have a little bit baggier pants, but the, the pants should not really uh, touch, or there should be at least one to two fist distances apart between your feet when you, when you end with cloud hands, because you're bringing that right foot in. So we end with a little feet a little bit closer together. The hands are um, stacked above each other, and we sink into, we're just going to do the feet, so I'm going to put my hands away. I'm sinking into the right claw to let this foot be light and insubstantial so that I can step out. And I'm not going to reach way out there. Um, I'm just going to sink, and that's going to dictate how far my foot goes out. Now, as I'm turning from the center, I'm slowly moving my weight to the space between my feet. And that turn just kind of talks to the foot and says, hey, foot, turn with me, you know, kind of rotate out. So it's not step and put your weight out there and then turn on this weighted foot. You're going to sink into the claw, allow the foot to come out, and then as you rotate, and this is the string that's holding you up, as you rotate, the foot will rotate with you. Be careful of the back knee. You want to maintain these bows in the leg so that this doesn't collapse and over time cause injury on the inner part of the knee. All right. So do the footwork with me just a couple of times. We're in cloud hands. We sink right, step out left, turn. One more time. Sink into the right claw. That dictates how far the foot goes out. Turn. Try not to drop that knee. All right, let's look at the hands. The hands are stacked. The left hand is low, the right hand is high. Lower Dantian, middle Dantian. The left hand comes up as the right hand makes a beak. It comes to the inside of the elbow, and then both hands curve out. Left palm faces out in the cardinal directions. Right hand goes where it's comfortable for your shoulder to go. So 
If you've got great flexibility and you can make 180 degrees, bravo. If you're at 45 deg degrees, bravo. If you're at 90, bravo. You're listening to the, your body and you're trying not to create tension. All right? So begin, scoop with a left, beak with a right. The head turns as the hand rotates out. Okay, I'm going to do this in mirror image so that you can mirror me for those who don't like doing it backwards. <laughs> so remember, even though my right hand is down, it's your left hand, right hand is above. We scoop to the inside of the elbow, turn. Try it again. Scoop. Make the beak, turn. All right, let's do this together. I'm going to face you first, and I'm going to do it in mirror image so you can do it along with me. So left hand low, right hand in the middle dantian, about a foot away. Scoop with the left. Beak with a right, step out, turn. Scoop with the left, beak with the right, rotate. Move the weight toward the center. Light and lively in the center. Scoop, beak, turn and rotate. All right, let's do it together facing the opposite direction. From, from uh, wave hands like clouds, begin, step, turn. Again, sink into the right, step out, and turn. One more time. Begin, sink, step out. Let the turn from the center of the body dictate the foot and the hand. All right, happy practicing. See you next time for High Pat on Horse. Cheers, shifters. <laughs>